My dog, Finnegan, a goofy golden doodle, loves to lean against me. He'll wedge his furry body against my legs, almost knocking me over. It's adorable and I can't help but shower him with hugs and kisses. But then I pause. Does Finnegan understand my affection? Does he know that my hugs are meant to convey love and comfort? Or is he just enjoying the warmth of my body heat? This question I'm sure plagues many dog owners. We lavish our furry companions with physical touch, but do they grasp the emotional weight we attach to it? It's a fascinating question, one that delves into the complexities of interspecies communication and the unique ways dogs perceive our world. While we might never fully understand the depths of a dog's mind, scientific research and expert observations offer intriguing insights into how our canine companions perceive our attempts at affection. Let's explore the fascinating world of canine behavior and try to unravel the mystery of whether dogs truly understand our hugs and kisses. Section 2. The Science of Snuggles. Do Dogs Get It? Dogs, unlike their wolf ancestors, have evolved to live in close proximity to humans. Over thousands of years they've learned to read our facial expressions, interpret our tones of voice, and even follow our pointing gestures. This interspecies communication is truly remarkable, a testament to the unique bond between humans and dogs. But when it comes to physical touch, the waters get a bit murky. Dogs in general are social animals who enjoy physical contact with their own kind. They play fight, groom each other, and sleep in cuddly piles. So it's natural to assume they interpret our hugs and kisses through a similar lens. However, canine behavior experts caution against anthropomorphizing our furry friends. Just because we express affection through hugs and kisses doesn't mean dogs interpret these actions in the same way. In fact, some research suggests that dogs may find our tight embraces constricting or even threatening. Section 3. Decoding Doggy Body Language, Signs of Contentment To understand how dogs perceive our affection, we need to learn their language. Body language. Dogs are masters of nonverbal communication, using a complex system of tail wags, ear positions, and facial expressions to convey their emotions. When a dog leans into you, it's a clear sign of trust and affection. They're seeking your warmth and closeness, finding comfort in your presence. A gentle lick on the hand can be interpreted as a doggy kiss, a sign of affection and appeasement. A relaxed, open mouth with a slightly lolling tongue indicates a dog at ease. Similarly, a soft, wagging tail, particularly one where the entire body seems to wiggle with joy, is a clear sign of happiness and contentment. These are the signals to look for, the genuine expressions of canine affection. Section 4. The pressure of a hug, not always a good thing. While we might find a warm embrace comforting, dogs with their different physical structures and communication styles may not share the same sentiment. In fact, many dogs find tight hugs restrictive and stressful. Imagine being enveloped in a bear hug, your movement restricted, your ability to escape limited. This is how some dogs, especially those unaccustomed to hugging, might perceive our enthusiastic embraces. Their instinct in such a situation is often to back away, avoid eye contact, or in more extreme cases, display warning signals like lip licking, yawning, or even growling. It's crucial to respect these signals and avoid forcing physical affection on a dog who clearly isn't enjoying it. Section 5 Kisses A confusing gesture for canines. Kisses, a universal symbol of human love, hold a completely different meaning in the canine world. Dogs don't kiss each other, they lick, they nuzzle, they sniff, but they don't pucker up. So, when we shower our dogs with kisses, we're essentially speaking a language they don't understand. Some dogs, particularly those who've learned to associate kisses with positive experiences like treats or petting, might learn to tolerate or even enjoy the gesture. However, others might find it confusing, intrusive, or even threatening, especially if the kiss is directed at their face, a sensitive area for dogs. It's important to remember that what we consider a sign of affection might be perceived very differently by our canine companions. Section 6 cultural considerations, hugs and kisses, around the world. It's also fascinating to note that the concept of expressing affection through hugs and kisses is largely a human cultural construct. While these gestures are common in many Western cultures, they are not universally understood or appreciated. In some cultures, physical touch, particularly between humans and animals, is less common or even taboo. Dogs in these cultures might have entirely different reactions to hugs and kisses, based on their upbringing and social experiences. 
This cultural variation highlights the importance of understanding and respecting the individual needs and preferences of our dogs, rather than imposing our own human interpretations of affection. Section 7. The Power of Positive Reinforcement Training and Affection The good news is that dogs are incredibly adaptable creatures, eager to please and learn from their human companions. While hugs and kisses might not be their preferred mode of affection, we can teach them to associate these gestures with positive experiences. Start by pairing hugs or kisses with something your dog loves like a tasty treat, a belly rub, or a playful game of fetch. Over time, they'll begin to associate the gesture with the positive reinforcement, making it more likely they'll tolerate or even enjoy the experience. Patience and consistency are key. Avoid forcing affection on your dog and always pay attention to their body language. If they stiffen up, back away, or show other signs of discomfort, give them space and try a different approach. Section 8. Beyond hugs and kisses, other ways dogs show love. While dogs might not understand hugs and kisses in the same way we do, they have their own unique ways of expressing love and affection. A wagging tail, a happy dance, a gentle lick on the hand, these are all signs of a dog who loves and trusts you. They thrive on routine, on knowing their place in your pack. They find comfort in your presence, in the sound of your voice, in the gentle stroke of your hand. So, the next time you're tempted to shower your dog with hugs and kisses, pause for a moment and tune into their signals. Listen to what their body language is telling you. You might find that the most meaningful expressions of love are often the simplest, a gentle scratch behind the ears, a shared nap on the couch, a walk in the park together. Section 9. Conclusion, a different kind of love. The bond between humans and dogs is a testament to the power of interspecies communication and the enduring strength of love and loyalty. While our canine companions might not fully grasp the complexities of human emotions or societal norms, their love, in its own pure and unconditional form, is a gift to be cherished. As I watch Finnegan chase after his tail, his whole body wriggling with joy, I'm reminded that love comes in many forms, it's about understanding and respecting each other's differences, about communicating in ways that resonate, about building a bond based on trust, loyalty and mutual respect. And sometimes the most profound expressions of love are unspoken, conveyed through a shared glance, a gentle touch, or the simple act of being present. Because in the end it's not the hugs and kisses that matter most, but the unseen connection that binds us together. <laughs>